Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're all doing marvellously well. Today, we are going to straighten the frames on the Tinkerbell project. And for that, we're going to use this 20 ton press. This level as a straight edge. Straightening your frames on your steam engine and your buffer beams is quite an important thing to do. We'll just head to the bench and I've done a little sketch and you can sort of see why and I kind of explain why we need to straighten the frames. So, so why straighten the frames? Please excuse my not to scale drawing and roughness. I've just quickly knocked this up. For instance, if we didn't straighten the buffer beam and we kept it, obviously this is extremely bent, but you get the impression here. If we were to leave it unstraightened, when we attached the two main frames running up here, as you can see, it would give us a wider opening at the opposite end, which would then cause us issues when we went to put on the other end with the other buffer beam. And if we didn't straighten the other end buffer beam, we would end up with something that looked kind of like that. We'd end up with two bowed mainframes, if the mainframes were straight to start with, or we would end up with, with a multitude of shapes, depending on how bent all these were. So it's going to cause you issues there. Now importantly, as you can see here, I've sketched the cylinder block and the sidebar, and this will cause extreme issues with the placement of the rear wheels. Um, obviously here we are on the extreme, but the main frames need to be parallel, perfectly straight, so that the cylinders are in line with the rear set of drivers which run across here. They need to be perfect to one another. This is why we're straightening the frames, to make sure everything is in, everything's in line, everything's plumb, everything's straight. Hopefully that explains it, get back to it. Right, so we're gonna start with this, the rear buffer beam. Uh, it's got a slight curve on it. So I'll just pop it on here and then we'll get the camera in a bit closer and we can show you how far off it is. Right, so I've got it curving, uh, it's higher in the middle and lower at the ends. So if I push down the spirit level at the other end, you can see we've got a massive gap. And we've got a, a lovely rock and it's like that all the way across. What we'll do is we'll strategically bring down the ram and slowly bring it back together. It's going to take a few attempts to get it straight so let's just crack on and get the job done. just got a little bit over we just need to tweak her back a little bit much better I just went a little too far so we just got the uh, there's a little bit on the ends We'll get that done now. Let's just try and just one in the middle
Right, so I've done this one, and as you can see, we now have a very, there's a little tiny bit on the ends, but nowhere near like it was before. And it's all the way across. So what I found was that on the 12 mil buffer beam, uh, five ton was perfect to uh, tweak the buffer beam straight. I've already done the thicker buffer beam and it being twice as thick, yeah. I was using 10 tons uh, when I did that one. So the buffer beams are now close enough. I'm happy with what they are. And it's just now onto the uh, mainframes. That's gonna take some work. They're a bit longer, a bit harder to manage. So let's get set up and rock and roll. So there we are, that's how I have straightened my frames and my buffer beams. One of the main frames was really bold. I've got that in a lot closer now. I think with the frame stretches and the pieces of angle that are going down the side, any small wiggle, it should straighten out with what we're putting in. And um, if not, we'll have to put it back in and give it a quick tweak again. If you like what you saw in the video, please click the like button. That will help the video spread around a little bit further and you'll be helping the uh, channel. So join me in the next episode, where we'll be doing a little bit more. Laters!